Happy Kwanzaa, happy Hanukkah, happy holidays, y'all. Welcome to another episode of Picky Eaters. I am your host, Seth Brundle. And today, we've got yet another picky eater with not one, but two ingredients that she does not like. All right, Vivian, come on out. Hey, Seth. How are you? I was great until I put these in my hands, so. Okay, let me take those away Thank from you, you so nothing <laughs> violent happens. Tell me about all your disdain for these two ingredients. So, ham comes mm -hmm. from pig. Pigs eat a lot of different things, Delicious so I already don't trust it. And it's not turkey. It That look just doesn't do anything for me. The taste doesn't do anything for me. Your aversion is not only to like cranberry sauce for the holidays, it's just the cranberries like all together. All together. And even the cranberry sauce is more confusing to me because I'm like, what do you put it on? Like, do you put it on a bagel? Do you put it on meat? Do you put it on cheese? Like, what do you do with it? If I remix it today, are you actually going to eat it? I'm coming in with an open mind. Okay. I've seen picky eaters. I've yes. seen you chef it up, and I have faith in you. Okay. I feel like if you don't do this right, I will just never touch either of these items ever again. That is a lot of pressure, Vivian. The fate of my whole nutrition is in your hands. Like, you're changing the future of my culinary life. Okay. By the time we come back, hopefully we'll be in flavor town. Hey, okay. I have All hope. All right. <laughs> we'll see what happens when we come back. All right, guys, so with Vivian's aversion to both cranberry sauce, cranberries in general, and ham, I'm gonna be making a holiday burger for her. I'm gonna start off with these Angus beef patties. We're gonna sear these off. We're gonna add some amazing brie cheese, some gorgonzola, and some other nice things, so let's get started. So this induction burner is already getting hot, which is the only thing that I love about induction burners because gas is key. But for our purposes here, we're going digital already. So we're just gonna start off with some canola oil. Just gonna use my spatula to kind of spread that all over the pan. We're gonna start off with two patties. Got a nice little sizzle going. Give them a little smash. Alrighty, so these have been going for a couple minutes, so we're just gonna give them a little flip. And then immediately give them a little dusting of salt and pepper. And then we're going to add some of our brie. We're just gonna give it a little sprinkle of gorgonzola. And while these are finishing off, just gonna add our buns. Give those a nice toast. We got just enough space. Alrighty, let's go ahead and check our buns for color. We've got some nice golden brown goodness going on there. And then our burgers are cooked all the way through and our cheese is melted, so we're just gonna move over to the next step. All right, so we've got our burger seared off. We've got our buns toasted. Now we're gonna get started on a very simple very, very simple aioli. We're gonna take some mayonnaise. And I know there are a lot of mayonnaise haters out there that are going, ew, mayonnaise is delicious. And it's a stereotype that black people don't like it. I love mayonnaise. And then we're gonna take some grated garlic, some lemon juice, and then we're just gonna take the tiniest pinch of salt. I'm just gonna move this over here. I'm gonna take my whisk. I'm just gonna mix this together. And folks, in less than 60 seconds, you've got yourself a garlic aioli. And now for our ham. We have some thinly sliced ham here, so I'm gonna make for Vivian what I call ham crowns. So I'm just gonna take two thin slices and kind of make rounds like this. Just arrange them in the pan, just like that. They look like little pork crowns. So we have our crowns formed. We're just gonna pop them in the oven for a couple minutes. That's all they should take. So. Cranberry sauce. Some people love it, some people hate it. I'm indifferent. If the application is desserts, I'm all for it. But I'm gonna show you how to make a traditional one with some non-traditional ingredients, but this is the way that I make mine. So we're gonna start off, of course, with raw, fresh cranberries. You can use frozen, doesn't really make a difference because we're gonna be reducing this down anyway. So we're gonna start with those cranberries. Then we're gonna need some granulated sugar, then some water, and then for my somewhat non-traditional ingredients. I'm gonna do some grapefruit juice, grapefruit zest, and some Chinese spice spice. We're going to bring this to a boil. I'm just gonna mix all of our ingredients up and bring this to a boil until all the sugar melts 
and then as soon as the sugar melts down, we're just gonna turn it down to a simmer and let it reduce down and break down and the cranberries are gonna burst and that juice is gonna come out and it's gonna be really, really tasty. Um, and that's gonna take 10 to 15 minutes. Alrighty, so we have finished our cranberry sauce. It's reduced, it's thickened, and we have this beautiful, traditional jelly-like consistency that's consistent with a holiday cranberry sauce. So I'm just gonna scoop this out of our pot and into our serving dish. Alrighty guys, so we've made all of our ingredients and the only thing left now to do is to put them all together. So we're gonna start off with our buns. Got a nice toast on this one. I'm gonna grab some of our cranberry sauce and spread that on the bottom here. This is gonna be our sweetness. Perfect, perfect. And then we've got some shaved fennel here. So I'm just gonna put about a quarter handful of our fennel on. And then a little handful of baby arugula. Make sure we got a nice tight pile there. And we've got our Angus beef patty with our brie and melted gorgonzola. And then we have a couple of our ham crowns here. And our top bun, our garlic aioli. Remember I told you guys I love mayonnaise, so I'm just gonna be a little liberal with this. And the crown on top of the ham crown, along with a steak to hold everything together. These are our delicious, nutritious, balanced holiday burgers. We've got some sweetness. We have some salty from the ham crowns. We have this meaty Angus patty. We have the toasted buns, arugula, fennel. We've got a lot of things going on here that are gonna make, hopefully, Aunt Viv a very, very, very happy camper. So here comes our moment of truth, guys. We've got our holiday burgers here. Aunt Viv, come on out. Not you calling you me any, Aunt Viv. You have any nieces or nothing? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, all right. So this is just Viv before she becomes Aunt Viv. It's okay, the dark-skinned Aunt Viv is the popular one. I have made for you today holiday burgers. They are Angus beef, there's brie cheese, there's gorgonzola, there's cranberry sauce, there's a garlic aioli, baby arugula, fennel, and toasted brioche buns. I won't be able to eat the bun because of my gluten sensitivity, but I'm gonna when? eat everything else. You have a gluten allergy? So act like it's on a spinner right now. You pick the prettiest do, 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 do. one. I don't care about pretty. I want the one with the most meat. Let's do this one. Okay. I'm really fighting every urge to let all of my wild animal instincts take over as far as eating. The fact that these cranberries actually look like something, well yeah. done. You see all of that working together in perfect harmony? This is the World Peace Burger. Black people, mm -hmm. white people, Hispanic people, Asian people, mm -hmm. Republicans, Democrats, mm -hmm. if we could all get along, this is like that would be the burger. Right? I genuinely love it, and I also want to take those two. <laughs> so you can take these two, but we're going to give you the naked ones. We're going to save our brioche buns. Brioche is life. So would you say this is a win? You won the Olympic gold medal. Viv, thank you so much for coming over to the Picky Eater's Kitchen. Mm -hmm. We are glad you're pleased and you're still eating. So while she finishes her burger, we're just gonna sign out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of Picky Eaters. We'll see you guys on the next edition. Happy holidays, peace out. <laughs>